welcome to another vlog. Um, it's been a minute. I've just been, ugh, let's see, people have been sick. Uh, and yeah, just I just haven't had the energy. I've been kind of stressed out with some health issues that my family has been having, but luckily everybody is okay for right now. Um, so that's good news. <laughs> Um, and I'm only one person, and I'm, yeah, I've just been busy. So I don't know how coherent these clips are. Um, Pax and Watson and I, we all got haircuts. I get te Kyle technically too, also he gets his haircut every like two days because <laughs> he shaves his head. Um, so I have some clips of that. They look very cute. Um, let's see, I worked on painting a bookshelf and a canvas for a cli classroom library, a first grade classroom library. Oh my gosh, go away, bug. First grade classroom library, um, we installed at a, a local elementary school, Moms for Social Justice installed. Um, so I have a couple clips of that. And um, we also visited Kyle's aunt and uncle in Atlanta which I only got like a clip or two of that because I didn't want to interrupt that family time. Mostly it was outside actually with Watson playing. <laughs> um, but on the way back, we did stop at Bucky's, which was an experience. And if you like Bass Pro Shop, I think you would like Bucky's. We're just not the right demographic for it, that's all. Uh, it's, a, it's an experience. I appreciated that the gas was cheap. How's that sound? Um, and yeah, other than that, we just kind of been hanging out and just been really busy and trying to rest and recover when I can. So I'm hoping that this weekend I'll be able to get some more clips that are a little bit more coherent. But we will see. Um, so I hope that you, through the TV, had a great weekend and are doing well. I never know how to, I never know how to outro these. Have a smashing day. Uh, have a great whatever day it is for you. I hope it's fabulous. Okay, we are at Pigtails and Crew Cuts and Watson is gonna get a haircut today. Woohoo! What do you think, Watson? Are you excited about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, do you like how it looks? Yeah. It turned out pretty good? Pretty cute? You wanna, you wanna look up at mama? Look up at me. Ish. Can you tell us about the challenge that we're doing? We're doing a four marker challenge instead of three because Watson got four and then we 
gotten more, so. Okay, so how does the form record challenge work? So, we close our eyes and pick four colors, and then we color with our colors, and yeah. That's it. And there's no winners, no time limit. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to stay in the lines. All right, my colors are pink, reddish pink. My colors are peach. Poop brown and dark brown. No. <laughs> no. What are your colors, Pax? Blue, peach. Your arms, your hands in that way are um, the colors. Dark. It looks dark green. Green and then yellow. Okay, and Watson has red, yellow, blue, and green. Okay, here's everybody's results. This is turned into an Easter bunny, which is really cool. No, you gotta say who it is. And then this is from Watson. And then this is Pax. Pax ended up getting a lot of the Lightning McQueen colors, and then this one is kind of wild because it's a bunch of different. It's colors. cool. It's cool. Watson likes it. Okay, so let's tell which one belongs to each of us. This. Belongs to Watson. Yay! No, Dick. Congratulations. This okay. This do this um, cat belongs yeah. to me. Yay. And this belongs to me. And this belongs to Rosie. No, me. No! Me. Hello. I got a haircut yesterday, it's my cute. Um, okay, I wanted to show you this bookcase, the organization that I'm part of, Moms for Social Justice. We're gonna be installing a first grade classroom library. So I got this bookcase for $20 from like the cutest, sweetest couple. They drove it all the way down from, they live like an hour, over an hour away and they drove it here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is clean it up, scrape off the chipping paint, and then I'm hoping to repaint it. This is what the bookcase looks like. It's just, it's a really sweet blue color. I'm trying to decide uh, if I just want to paint it all one color or if I want to do a few different colors. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's first grade. It should be fun, right? It should be cute. over Rosie. Um, I just want to keep the bookcase and this canvas I'm going to be working on all together narratively, um, even though they happened on different days and actually the install that you'll see at the end happened like a week later, but we're just gonna smush that all together so you can see the end result. Um, so yeah, I painted the bookcase a light green and I painted some little ladybugs on the back and then I painted this canvas to go with the ladybug theme um, in honor of a uh, Moms for Social Justice member who had passed away and um, ladybugs were her thing. This was my first time painting, painting, painting on canvas 
Um, and I also painted with acrylics, which I don't, haven't really done. Uh, and they were just like the crummy $1 cheap acrylic paints. Um, well, was it, was it difficult? Uh, it was a new experience. I also felt like my brushes were not ideal. They like held a lot of paint up top, but not, um, at the bottom where it should have been. And the acrylic paint just didn't saturate the canvas. Um, or was as fully pigmented, I guess, as I was hoping, so. Um, some things took a couple coats, and my lines weren't as crisp as I wanted, but, um, I don't know if I was 100% happy with how this canvas ended up turning out, but it is what it is, and, um, everybody else really seemed to like it, so, uh, at the end I did add, um, I used Posca markers to add some more, like, detail, sort of, like, the imagination of the ladybug, or things that she would, was reading, um, and I think that added a lot to it in the end. I'll show a photo of it because I forgot to, after I painted the initial part, I forgot to film any other part after that because I was just getting kind of frustrated, honestly. Um, so yeah, canvas. Uh, will I do it again? I would like to, but I maybe I need some better materials to do it properly. Anyway, I also wanted to show a couple clips of the actual installation. This was a first grade classroom library um, with a lot of uh, Spanish speaking students. So we have a lot of books in there that are both English and uh, Spanish books. Um, and yeah, it was just a nice little installation. It was our 18th one that we've done and um, we got our community to buy all of the books brand new so that was awesome um, and that allowed us to buy some extra books as well as like some seat cushions and little decoration items. I think it, it turned out great. So we're going to Great Clips because my hair is very long. So yeah. Okay, let's go. How was your hair cutting experience? Good. Did you get the style that you were looking for? Yeah. I think it looks really cute. It seemed like everybody else really liked it too. Can you do like a slow turn so we can see all of your hairstyle? Sure. <laughs> do the other side. You're not going to move your feet. Very cool. And you can kind of put it over, style it over your eye yeah. the way that you want, right? Hair with not as much hair. Okay, we are. Nope, wrong way. We decided to get out of the house, so we're on the greenway, and Pax is roller skating, and Watson's riding his bike, and Kyle brought the dogs, and they're at the dog park. So we'll just see how far we want to get until we. I want to turn around.
kind of class? A climbing ninja class. Ninja class. All right, we'll see how it goes. This is Mexico. Mexico. Can we tell me one more? Um, let's see. Have you heard of the country of China? No. No. Okay. <laughs> is that TNT, Essie? No, I don't have TNT. Oh. <laughs> No, no, first he puts the water here, and then he puts TNT, and then blow up, and he's flying. Your turn, Nathan. Okay. Put the water. TNT, and then blow up. Oh. Woohoo, we fly it. Woohoo. Like okay, here we go. Woohoo. Oh no, I'm stuck. Lightning McQueen, I need your help. Boom! Ah! Around the campfire. Okay. The captain said, Dirty Ear, tell me a story. And Dirty Ear said, One night there was the captain and Dirty Ear sitting around the campfire. And the captain said, Dirty Ear, tell me a story. And Dirty Ear said, One night there was the captain and Dirty Ear sitting around the campfire. And the captain said, Dirty Ear, tell me a story. <laughs> I think there's hope. So she took her chainsaw wow. and cut away the kudzu and freed me. <laughs> then she took me to the car wash and had me high gloss. <laughs> and the rest is history. Wow, that is a spooky story. What is your review? Sorry. What's your review of Bucky's? A 10 out of 10. If I was hungry, I would come back. If you were hungry, you yeah. would come back. Look at the brisket. Ooh, look, I made Let's a bubble. Let's say if you were a connoisseur of turkeys, it's your thing.